Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this water material in RPGE 0.3. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to hit create a new file by hitting Ctrl M. And I'm going to delete the default cube and this slime. And this plane is going to act as our water. You don't know how to add a new plane just hit shift a mesh plane and you're gonna have your new plane over here but i don't need it because i already have one so let's go ahead into our material properties and create a new material for our water and let's call this material one now let's head to the shading tab over here and let's start working on a water material i'd like to change this um this thing, this math cap, into this math cap, for example. I like this one better. Okay, so after we have configured our material right now, our water environment, now let's go ahead into our material. I'd like to zoom in a little bit and let's just give it a dark tealish color because that's what I, this is what I used in the demo that I just showed you, like so. And now water isn't rough, so you're going to give it a roughness of 0. And it has an IOR of 1.333. And water is transparent, so just give it maximum transmission. So yeah, now we are done with all of the parameters. But, you know, in real life, water is actually kind of transparent. So you're going to need to give it some transparency. So... Let's hit Shift A, search, and search for a transparent PSDF. Now we would like to mix this with our current material. So go ahead, search, and mix shader. So now we're going to plug our principal BSDF into the mix shaders and our transparent, and then the shader to our material surface output. Now you'll see that it's actually not working properly right now. As I change the factor, it isn't really working properly. It's kind of messed up. And this is because there's an option you need to enable. So go ahead into the material properties over here. And into blend mode, change this into alpha blend. And now you can control how transparent it is. I don't want it to be too transparent. So I'm just going to set it to around like this. And, you know, now we have actually set its transparency. So now we are done with our principal BSDF. Now let's add our normal map. So hit Shift A, search, image texture. And this is going to be our normal map. So hit open and now you're going to open a normal map. Our water normal map. You can Google image water normal map and you're going to find a lot of really cool normal maps for you. But if you want to use the one that I have in this tutorial, I'm going to link it in the description somewhere. So yeah, now let me just uh, search for it, and there he is. So now we have our normal map, and um, we're going to connect this with our normal over here. And you're going to see that now we have our water normal. The problem is that this is static, and it doesn't move. And we would like this water normal map to actually move, you know, just like real water. So we're going to use a little bit of a trick, and we're going to have two of these normal maps one goes in a specific direction and the other goes in the other direction and this is going to create an illusion that the water is actually moving so in order to do that we're gonna first of all we're gonna add a uv map and then we're gonna add a mapping node now plug in the uv with the vector over here and let's duplicate that map, you know, because we're going to have two normal maps. And plug in the other UV with the vector. Like so. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So yeah, these two are going to be the mappings of our two normal maps. Now let me duplicate our normal map by hitting Shift D. So for you to duplicate something, you need to select it, then hit Shift D. And let me just unplug this. Okay, 
So now connect the vector over here with the vector over the image texture and the vector over here with the vector of the image texture. Now we want to rotate the first normal map by negative 90 degrees on the z-axis. And this is going to allow us to do the illusion thing. Now let's go ahead and add a mix RGB and mix the two normal maps together. Now let's also add a bump. Yeah, so just shift A, bump node. And we're going to collect, connect the color to the normal and the normal to the normal. Now that we've connected, as you can see, now we have our normal maps and they are mixed together. And we can control them by this factor. So let's just set it to 0 0.5 as it used to. Now the trick is when we move this one on the x-axis, this one is going to move like so. And when we move the other one on the y-axis, it's going to move like so. And when we both and we move, when we move them both simultaneously, it's going to create that wave illusion. So let me just reset them to zeros over here. Just like so. And let me just clean things up a little bit. Like so. Now, in order for us to be able to animate that water material, we're going to go ahead and um, just split the view like so and change it into timeline like so. Now, let me just set the start to zero. It's around here somewhere. Yep. Start set it to zero and let's move to the first frame. So now that we are on the first frame, hover over the Y and hit I. Then move to the 60th frame and hover over the Y, change it to 1, and hit I. From here, hit I while you're hovering on the I. Okay, and this also changes to 0 0.5 again. Okay, and then go to frame 60 and change this Y into 1, hit I again, and um, now let's look at the result. Yeah, now it's acting kind of too fast, as you can see. So what we can do is we can like, um, change this a little bit. So we can move this to frame 120. So just select the keyframe, just move it. So and just move it outwards like so. Maybe even frame 200. It's all up to you. Select the other one so that they're both at the same timing, a G, and change it to frame 202. So then now, it should be a little bit slow. Yup, now it is slower, now it is working properly. But as you can see, it kind of like speeds up and then slows down. It's acting kind of weird, and that is because of the interpolation. So we need to change our interpolation into linear interpolation, instead of like this curve. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change this from timeline to dope sheet. Interpolation mode linear. Okay. So, what I did is I hit A on my keyboard. Then I went to key interpolation mode and set this to linear. Now, let's test it out again. And now it is kind of linear. So one of them is linear and the other one is not. So we're going to select the other map over here. Hit A on our keyboard. So we select all of the frames. And switch to the dope sheet editor again. Hit A. Make sure we hit A. Key. Interpolation mode. Linear. Now they're both linear interpolation. So now if we test it out. It should be working properly. 
as you can see it is kind of seamless so let's just um, set the end of the frame to 200 instead of 250 so that kind of like loops and we can actually see how it performs as you can see it is working now and it is working flawlessly So now that we have this, let's go all the way into the default report and let me just um, split this and change this into logic editor. Where is the logic editor? There we go, over here. So now we have the logic editor. Now, as you can see, when I hit P over here, let me just switch to shader view. When I hit P, the water still doesn't move because we need to actually activate the action that we've just created. So just add an add sensor, always, and then add an actuator, action, and it's gonna play action that is shader nodes action. This is the action that we've just created, and we're gonna connect both of them together, and we're gonna set the start frame into zero and the end frame into two hundred, and over here we're gonna change the play from play into ping pong so that it kind of switches between the two so that it feels actually seamless so yeah now when we hit p as you can see the water moves like so okay it's kind of not really um, seamless so let's just play this into loop end I'm gonna change it into loop end and hopefully it should feel seamless now yep now the animation is seamless I don't even know when it ends and yeah so this was today's tutorial hope you enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and see you later